The SFU Student Union president has condemned the university after security called the RCMP on a black alumnus on Friday. It resulted in a violent arrest where police used pepper spray and a taser. So everyone has a right to come here and purchase food, but they're specifically targeting me. I've already told you, you have the option of leaving right now with your food. So I have the right to come here and buy food. That's the first thing, and continue because we gotta publish you publicly. If you do publicly. not choose to leave peacefully by um, yourself, right now I will we have will. We have intent. that. That is on your part. You could call the RCMP. I don't need to answer you anymore. I have a right to do what I want freely. Hey, 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 hey. Do you understand? Do you understand? Let me go. Let me go. Burnaby RCMP said in part in a release that when the responding officer arrived, the police spent several minutes using crisis intervention and verbal de-escalation techniques. Police then told the man he was under arrest for causing a disturbance. When the man didn't comply with requests to leave, the RCMP say the man took the officer by the arm, a physical altercation ensued, and then the officer used pepper spray. The man allegedly placed the officer in a chokehold, which was when the officer used the taser. Police say the man was arrested under the Mental Health Act and subsequently released to medical staff. SFU alumnus Giovanni Hosang shared the video of the incidents online on Saturday. Hosang says the RCMP state falsifies what actually happened. In a statement, Hosang says the police arrived around 9.15 p.m., and within 10 minutes, the alumnus was pepper sprayed, tased, and arrested. He says, if that is enough time for de-escalation and fact-finding, the RCMP clearly does not know what it is doing. Hosang says, in part, the pepper spray was deployed when the man was calling out for a lawyer, and that the RCMP failed to outline how the taser was deployed into the head of the alumnus. He says the man wasn't released to medical staff, after being apprehended under the Mental Health Act, but rather because he sustained a serious head injury from the taser electrode. He adds the alumnus did not have a mental health episode in this situation. SFU says in an email they could not provide details on the incident, and they did not say which COVID safety requirements would stop an alumnus known to security from being on campus. But SFU does have a COVID policy that keeps community members without IDs from entering buildings on campus. Hosang also shared an earlier video showing what is reportedly a security guard at SFU Harbor Center interacting with the same man who was arrested. Uh, we will allow you access as we did today and uh, you are not kicked out. Thank you. And you're still here. Another video shows the man saying he has showed his ID to security in the past, only to still have police called on him. Security is calling the police. I showed her my ID. Hosang says the effects of this incident widens distrust between the university and black and indigenous students, and he calls on SFU to improve racial sensitivity training for security, reevaluate its relationship with the RCMP, and examine its COVID policies concerning people on campus. SFU President Dr. Joy Johnson says the university will begin an external review. In Burnaby, Kirjunos, City News.